Hey guys, Dino with Dino RC, and I've got something very exciting I want to show you. I've always been a big Traxxas fan, and uh, there was a comp we went to the other day, and uh, one of the uh, hobby shop owners come up, and he knew that I had a soft spot for Chevy trucks as well, and he brought one of these for me. Shout out to um, Performance RC Hobby up in uh, near Huntington, West Virginia. We're going to open this bad boy up. There we go. I did take a little bit of a sneak peek, but I wanted to show you all this. I don't know how familiar you all are with these, but this is the Traxxas uh, High Trail Edition TRX4 and this is the black one See, I haven't took the plastic off of this yet, uh, but I'm fixing to. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Let's pull it off here. Let's see how good it looks. Nothing like pulling the plastic off of the new truck. got several videos that we're going to be making with this truck and I'm actually going to comp this truck in a, a comp this weekend so we'll have some footage of that see how it does like I said hits a get all this show off this pretty potty this thing or not is so pretty. Uh, look at that blank. I'm telling you what. I wasn't going to get the black one. I was going to get the, um, the red one because I've got a red Silverado right now, but I'm usually partial to a black truck. And I tell you what, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that is nice. Oh, look at that blind. Got chrome everywhere, black and chrome. Got the big two two tires and wheels on it. Got the lift kit suspension. That is nice. Now, we're gonna be doing a series of with some of these trucks um, before too long and show you some stuff on it. But for right now, let's just enjoy the newness of this one. And i tell you what, now it's, it's hard to beat Traxxas TRX4. Now they go good. Um, they don't quite steer as good as a, as a axial SCX10 in my opinion. And because of that, Traxxas is a lot harder to do some of the comps with that we do, uh, but I do it, and I do win sometimes in place, um, but it's a little bit harder, plus they're a little bit wider, um, but now for trail running uh, and stuff like that, and even comping, like I said, if you're just starting out, TRX4 will do you just fine, um, but I love the two-speed uh, you get with this truck, uh, so you got a two-speed transmission, 
Uh, you push this button right here and you got low and high. And then this one up here, I've, I've got it. <laughs> I've got other TRX fours. Um, and these are your lockers. So you can either, um, you can run both diffs open so that it's like, it's still four wheel drive, but it's limited slip and it'll turn a little bit better sometimes. Um, it's definitely funner bashing in that way. Uh, these little trucks rip pretty good. Uh, when you've got them up in high gear and you got the diffs open, uh, I've spun them around on the hard top and done come off the rocks comfort and do donuts out on the concrete pad next to it. And people are like, what in the world? What's here running? Uh, but you can also, uh, you know, just lock the rear diff. Uh, sometimes that's handy. Uh, and sometimes you want to just lock the front diff. Uh, and sometimes that's handy. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting used to it. Now, some people think that, I, I heard all kinds of people when I first started, uh, I've got the blazer and I took my body off not very long after I got it uh, because I didn't want to mess the body up. I did comp it a couple times and got some scratches on it. I don't know if I can bear to get this one scratched or not. Um, but uh, people were like, oh, you need to take off those servos and this and that. Let me tell you, you know, Traxxas makes a good vehicle. Uh, yes, you can do some improvements, you know, as far as if you're comping from what's sitting here on it. Um, but it's hard to beat a Traxxas TRX4 out of the box. It is hard to beat it. The tires go good. Uh, you know, they're a really good, especially if you're an entry-level driver or youth driver. Uh, the tires that are on them, they go pretty good. Uh, you know, there are some that you can get that are more sticky if you're just running on rocks uh, and a little softer compound. But for an all-around tire, they do good. Uh, the foams feel good on this truck. Uh, and I was really surprised. Uh, he had the red one down there and running it, and he actually ran it in the comp. Um, and he really good. I was surprised with the lift kit and everything, how good that it did. Uh, but this truck looks amazing. And I was, I'm actually wanting to do my blazer. I've already bought some of the kit. Uh, I want to lift it up like this as well. Uh, but um, this truck is uh, definitely nice. And uh, like I said, if one of the things that um, you might want to end up upgrading might be like a steering sofa or, or something. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to put the light kit on this. I haven't got that yet, but I will. Uh, and I may put a custom roll bar in it. Uh, I don't know yet. I will see. Uh, but this truck's definitely not going nowhere. I'm going to have it for a long time. And uh, when I say a long time, I mean probably till I die. <laughs> so... Um, and it'll probably still be going without having to do anything to it. Traxxas trucks are that tough. My other TRX4, I've been running it for three years. And for two years, I never done nothing to it. And then I upgraded the uh, gear ratios for rock climbing. Uh, and I overdriven the front and underdriven the back. Uh, and that helped a lot with the steering. Uh, and it also helps with just climbing on rocks. I probably won't do this one that way. I'll probably leave it just the way it is. Uh, but like I said, uh, this has got the upgraded suspension. So it's got a taller suspension on it. You've got longer lengths. This is a longer wheelbase. Uh, I think that it looks really good. Uh, um, like I said, it's very proportioned, uh, well proportioned. And uh, I can't wait to get it on the trails and show it to you guys. Um, there's a new body release on this. Let me get it here. I haven't ever even did it before yet. There it is. You just got four little buttons that you push back here to release the body. And it also comes with, uh, you've got a built-in cage that's in there. So that's gonna help protect your body. And that body clipless uh, mountain is awesome. And like I said, I bought this truck specifically for a trail truck. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm going to run it in a in a stock rock competition, but it's more of a going to be like a little G6 style. 
Um, but these trucks are amazing how good they are. Um, the electronics do good in them. I've never switched my electronics. I did end up switching the uh, radio on my other one just so I could run it on my DX6R. Uh, but, you know, hits, uh, they do good. I, I just put me an adapter on my other one and uh, run whatever battery I want. Uh, they've got a good battery tray right here that you can uh, use. And there's there's some other things that you can do to them to, to make them, uh, you know, different. It depends on what you're going to use it for. But if you're looking for a good truck, uh, maybe to run Beat the Creek. I can't wait to Beat the Creek 2000, uh, uh, 2023. That's going to be good. Uh, I can't wait to go. And this truck can definitely be down there. And I'll be running the trails with it. Uh, and like I said, it's, uh, you just can't beat it. And I'm going to be running this truck in some mud. Uh, I may switch some tires out if I'm doing some mud running, uh, but I'm definitely going to keep these tires and wheels as well. Uh, for trail, this thing is perfect. Uh, you can have a ball with it. And, uh, like I said, there's a lot of things you can do. I'll probably add a winch to it. Uh, you know, there's a, I make a custom bracket up here that I can put a winch in the front, or you could bolt one right there if you wanted. Uh, there's a lot of options that you can do with the Traxxas. Um, but like I said, the little motors, they run good. Uh, you know, is is it as smooth as, you know, uh, my Fusion? No, probably not. Um, but for a stock truck out of the box, the looks that you get with this bad boy... Uh, like I said, it's hard to beat it. One thing I was going to tell you guys is if somebody tries to tell you that the diffs and this and that, uh, what happens sometimes is the, uh, the end points and stuff here need set. And you can also adjust them uh, um, on here as well. You can, you can move your servo if you need to. Uh, if your line starts to wear or something and gets a little loose, you can adjust this. Um, but I've never had any trouble with the lockers on my uh, working. Uh, like I said, sometimes I unlock them accidentally because I hit a button or something. Uh, but other than that, I don't have any troubles with my lockers and stuff working. I've been running mine for three years, and I've rock comped it. It's still got the factory little servos in it that changes it. I've never done anything to it. Uh, my competition one that I run, uh, I changed the shock hoops and uh, the servo and upgrade the gears and, you know, there's a bunch of stuff you can do to them and, and we'll be going over some of that stuff too, what you can do um, to a stock rig. Uh, but this bad boy right here, it is perfect the way it is. Go out there and get you one of these Traxxas High Trail Editions. And uh, like I said, I think they come in red and black. And... Oh, look at that. Just push your body down. You can't beat that mountain system. I hope that's something that I can add to my other ones. That is so nice. I tell you, like I said, it also comes in the red. And I'm supposed to have a red body coming. So uh, I will have another one of these uh, that I will be building a little bit different than this one. Um, and I'll have it as well and plus the blazer. So I'm gonna have three of these TRX fours that'll all be different uh, in their build, um, but they'll look really nice, and all of them will be a whole lot of fun. So anyway, I'm glad that you guys took a few minutes to see what Dino had on the bench. Like I said, it comes with your uh, your tracks of stickers, and you get a few tools and a lug nut wrench, and it gives you some instructions. Uh, you can run these on 3S or 2S. Uh, you can run them on lipos or regular. Uh, that's one thing that you have to set up. You can also set up your ESC, and we'll probably show some of that. Uh, but you can uh, set up your ESC for what mode you want. I think there may be five modes. I forget off the top of my head, but there's. you can put it in crawler mode where you got the brake on, uh, the drag brake will work them for you, or if you're going to just bash it and you don't want that uh, trail brake on all the time, then you can take that off. And another thing people don't know is you can also set these up. This is another good thing about Traxxas is my grandson's just three, and he'll be driving this truck. Um, 
But what you do is you can set these up on the ESC uh, for beginner mode. And it cuts down the power and everything to 50%. I can put him in first gear. I can throw him a 5,000 milliamp battery in there or bigger than that if I want to. And he can play with this thing literally all day long. We can go to a park somewhere or whatever we want to do. And he can play with it until he is just war slap out. Uh, and that's what we do. And uh, he has a good time. And you can do that with a lot of Traxxas uh, systems. I do that with the Stampede that I bought him. Uh, and anyhow, there's a lot of things that you can do with these. Um, so I have a good time. And they are, you know, a little costly when you buy one. I, I, but I think they, the price on these has actually come down some. I think I give a lot for my first one. But anyway, check us out. Dino RC. And look us up on our uh, Facebook group. And join us. We have a lot of good things that we do on there. And also uh, check out our store, DinoRC.com. You can get you some dino hats and dino shirts and a lot of other dino gear that we have. You can try out our dino line uh, that's for our winches, for our RC cars, and hits tough stuff. You can get it different colors, uh, anyhow. And uh, if you got any questions or got something you want to see on Dino do, shoot me a message there on Facebook. Uh, I'm glad to talk with you. But until then, you never know. I might see you on the rocks. Yeah, I'm over.